Hello, welcome to another video. If you take a first look at this problem, you might think you need to do something very complicated or you need to use a technique or something to be able to get the answer, especially when E is combined with natural log combined with X and it's an integral. No, look at it very well. What you have is an integral that can be simply solved using the power rule. Remember, that whenever you have an integral and x is raised to a number, you just have to use the power rule. Add one to the exponent and use it to divide what you've got. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. So, let's do it. We're just going to use the power rule to solve this problem and if we have time we might just try to simplify whatever they have or you might simplify before you start but i don't want to simplify i just want to use the power rule so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to say that okay this is equal to the integral of x to the natural log of square root of e you see this is not a function it's a number that you can put in your calculator and you get a number that you can put there so it's the power rule Okay, minus the integral of x to the negative e um, dx. Negative e is also a number, so I don't need to worry about it. Okay, and it's not negative one. I know e is not one. So what I'm going to do is say this is equal to, um, apply the power rule. It's going to be x to the natural log of square root of e plus one over the natural log of square root of e um, plus one. And then this would be minus here it's going to be x to the negative e plus one over negative e plus one so based on what we have so far we could say this is the answer but unless we want to evaluate what this is what is natural log of e of square root of e plus one okay let's do the work here we know um, we know that um, the natural log of the square root of e could have been written as the natural log of e to the one half, which we say is the same thing as one half times the natural log of e, which is equal to one half multiplied by one. Well, that's one half. So you see, the initial problem could have been x raised to power one half. That could have been the exponent <laughs> to be easier for you to say, Okay, I know how to do this. So let's just do that. Let's go back here and plug in one half here, one half here. So this is equal to, let's equate this. This will be equal, let's put it here. So this goes all the way here and it becomes x to the one half plus one over one half plus one um, minus x to the, I'm gonna switch this so that gives me one minus e over one minus e plus c. Um, this will be equal to, um, this is three halves, that's two thirds, that's two over three, x raised to power three over two, minus x to the one minus e over one minus e plus c. This is the integral. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.